All right, everybody. Good morning. It's a Monday morning. Way down on the coast here in Maine, we're pumping what's going to be a boathouse. The guy's going to park his boat in here. Eight inch fit four matter rebar. As you can see, it's got styrofoam radiant heat. I'm not sure what this section is, probably like an office section or something like that. This is only four inches thick, and then this is a little entryway. They're going to put two inches of blue stone over. But it's, it's going to be in the 50s for yardage, even though it's not that big, it's so thick. I'm not sure why they designed it so thick, but they, we're just here to pour and finish it today. So we're going to get going. so thick that first truck's not really gonna go anywhere we might fill up a little bit of that edge but each truck's got we got five ten and a half yard trucks coming 52 and a half to hopefully finish it but if not we got a balanced truck sitting there waiting Morning. Last business then. Good? Busy, busy. That's what we Just like here. Fighting the humidity like oh, you and the goodness. rain. Oh, goodness. It's been horrible. It doesn't want to stop. Oh, it's been nuts. Dust, dust has been hot these last couple weeks. Oh, I don't yeah. know if it's just brand new loads or what, but. Anything, yeah. The dust has been really. Yep. And maybe they don't know either until the last minute. That could, you know? that could be, yeah. I know Norm, quote with the schedule, he's always floating stuff. Yeah. You know, he doesn't know. Right. Not too bad. I think I can make a pad yet. Halfway is yeah, pretty close to halfway. Probably not enough here though. Well, maybe. I'll go that way. Ah, 
that one truck didn't go very far. That's what I mean by dumping the trucks is going to be pretty fast. It's probably about 10 inches thick around that drain. Pitches an inch and a half from the wall to the drain. Slopes back up to about here. There's a high point here. And then from here it pitches three inches down to that form right there. Kind of a weird shape, but it's just the way they designed it. The tough part about Probably the tough part for us about pouring these is just screeding on top of this rebar that's way up off the ground. You're kind of either trying to float your feet in between the bars or you're trying to stand on the bar as you're screeding to kick your way back. And obviously you just keep, sometimes you just keep falling off. So it's something we used to have to do in commercial work all the time, especially when we'd pour like 16 inch thick floors, they'd have a double matter rebar and you couldn't step down to the bottom or you'd go right over your boot so you'd have to you'd have to learn how to balance yourself on the rebar but this isn't too bad it will get it what we want is we want to see trucks lined up out there because it only takes us five minutes to empty a truck and if we got to wait 10-15 minutes for every truck it's going to take us three times as long just to get this part forward so <clears throat> we really just need trucks back to back and that's what I told him too I told him we were dangle pumping it and it was really thick so it was only gonna take a couple minutes to empty a truck probably takes them longer to mix up than it does to actually empty them so we'll see how they do now it's you know it's first thing in the morning it's 6 30 in the morning we gave them over a week's notice to plan for it so we should have had like five or six trucks all lined up sitting there waiting for us and just load them all right out batch them all right out one right after the other one good thing is we're kind of in the shade a little bit to start this morning, so before the sun gets up too, too high, at least we got a little bit of shade here from those trees. So would you go back? To Chicago? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we took the architectural tour. That was nice. Yeah. The restaurants are really nice. Yeah. Now, would you stay in downtown? Or? Yeah. Right at the Hilton. Yeah. yeah. Go to the beach. We walked down by the beach. We didn't actually go and sit on the beach, but yeah. Quite a ways from actually from the hotel yep. to the beach. Yep. You got that big park in between. Right. There's actually a, a couple roads go through the park too. Right. So it's probably almost a half a mile yep. from the closest hotel on the road to the beach. Yep. Through the park. Yep. It's a little bit of a walk. Not bad though. The city is kind of, it reminds me when you get down in with all the big buildings, you know, Trump Tower and all that. Yeah. It reminds you a lot of like New York City. Yeah. It's just a lot cleaner yeah. than Manhattan. See, when I was out there, we went on a river tour, so we came up the river from like Goose Island. Oh, yeah. And uh, we get to see like all of that, like the backside of like Trump Towers and all the other things. Yeah. Everything built right into the freaking water. Right. Which is really cool. But when I went out there, the guy I know has, he's two blocks from the beach. So he's like just off the end of the park, with just a couple blocks down away from where the beach is. Yeah. So we literally walked two blocks, jumped down over the concrete. Yeah. You know, because it's like the concrete goes all the way around it. Food was good. Huh? Said so the food was good. The pizza? I did, yeah, the deep dish. Yeah, first day. Yeah, a lot of Italian and a lot of steak restaurants. The waiters and everything—they're all dressed in like tuxedos. And <laughs> did you get to a baseball game? We did. Yeah, went to the Cubs game. Oh yeah. They won, three to two, I think. When you walked in, did you think you were at Fenway? Yeah, it was a lot similar. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing, Dan?
Let's strike it. You good? Good if you are. Two trucks down, we're not quite halfway. Gotta get by that. I get by that drain probably right about where Eric's standing and Luke's standing I think is halfway. So this 21 yards, 42 yards probably won't quite do it. Although it does thin out a little bit as we get towards the front because it slopes three inches down that way. So we'll see. About 62 feet. 32 feet is 32 feet right about here with a with the laser boxes is halfway. So a little bit low there. What was that? It was low? It's our high point right here. From here it goes three inches that way. It's going to get a little thinner too as you go that way. It's perfect. So it's low, right? Darren! Wow, oh, it looks like four trucks is going to do it and some, maybe some of that too. So now it's starting to look pretty good for five trucks finishing this thing. Still no easier walking on this rebar <laughs> as much as you do it. Bull float by a drain. You always want to run the edge of the bull float on the slope of the drain. You never want to run the the middle of the bull float over the drain because then you'll screw up the slope. So you see I got this edge going right on the edge of the drain. What I don't want to do is something like this go right to center over it because then I'll have a big low spot in the middle that'll screw up the slope. So I want to move it over like this and run this edge down that that drain like that and it doesn't matter which way you're going like if I was going this way or that way it would be the same thing and then you don't screw up your slope concrete's always going to want to sag just a little bit so when it starts to set up when we go to power trial we'll go in and scrape out around that drain get it, the concrete nice and flush around there so this part of the concrete's coming back up, right about uh, the other side of the straight edge. It comes back up even to the same same uh, grade as the outside wall, and then from there it slopes three inches from there down to that form. So it's just the way they wanted the garage to slope. So that's what we're giving them. I don't really feel that setting up at all yet, so that's a good sign. I want to try to get everything in before we got to send somebody back and start finishing. Thank <laughs> you. 
can be cramped in the back of your cab. pretty good so we had 42 and a half yards here and we're still on that fourth truck so it didn't quite take actually 42 yards we're probably closer to around 40 for this and then we got whatever's left on that fourth truck we'll start there then we got another whole 10 and a half yard of here to finish so we will certainly be in pretty good shape we shouldn't need a balance load which is good. Hopefully that little thing over here is going to feel like a piece of cake at the end of this. No rebar, four inches thick. Should feel like it. It should go pretty fast compared to this thing. Oh, we might have been out right there. All right, moving that fifth truck in there. I would say, what we got, 50 by 9, 450, 500 square feet should be around 6 yards, 6, seven, six 7 yards, something like that to do this. down there now almost got a it's what we like when we can start seeing the end we know we got a little time left before we gotta jump right back on it with power trials all right so it's a couple hours after we got done pouring things are moving along really good things are going fast now Probably had to wait an hour for, for us to get on it. But since we've got on it, we haven't really stopped. So Darren's hitting the big part with that foul. It's actually the first time he's hit that load, but he's already hit this load up here a couple times. That's down really, really smooth already. Again, that slopes down to that center drain, then back up to the high point, then it slopes back down to the door. This piece up here, we've hit by hand once. And then we decided to put the power tower on it because it's drying pretty quick. So we got went around, did the edges again the second time, and then Luke, Luke's hitting with the power tower now. That powder up by the pipe is almost done now. About 10.45, so things are, things are really moving along. See, we've been working in some sun and shade, sun and shade. So that's a little bit of a struggle, but nothing we're not used to.
cloud and shade over there that Darren's doing. That's going to slow down a little bit, so make his life a little bit easier. He's got it, looks like he's got it all under control anyway. That's got the shine out. We call that shining out right there, burning out, shining out. So that's pretty much done. It's just going to keep working its way down, especially as that sun comes around that tree. This one, the one really started to burn out up by that drain up there in that corner, but this next hit, this will all shine out. That's going to be a little bit longer, but not much, because that was in the shade for a while. Alright, so these guys look like they got this under control. I'm going to take off. Go look at a job for next Monday, so a week from today. See what we need to do for that, get it ready, get concrete ordered for it. It's probably about an hour from here. And then we'll just see you on the next one, guys. Thanks, thanks for watching.